Today we're going to look at an excellent exercise for improving shoulder function and decreasing shoulder pain. In the health and fitness world, when it comes to shoulders, everyone loves to talk about deltoids. Now, deltoids are this kind of, uh, you know, hopefully cannonball size <laughs> muscle you have on the top of your shoulder. And one of the things that we often find is that deltoids are not functioning well because the nerve signaling to that muscle or muscle group has been compromised. So in Z Health, in one of our um, courses which focuses more on rehabilitation of uh, issues, we teach drills that are called neuromechanic drills. Now neuromechanic drills are basically exercises that allow us to take certain nerves and put them under tension and then kind of floss them through uh, the tissue because nerves are very sensitive to pressure and if something is uh, causing pressure or entrapping them, it can disrupt muscle function and basically the synchronous activation of muscles, uh, whichever muscles the nerve innervates. So this particular exercise is for a nerve called the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve innervates or supplies your deltoid muscles. So sometimes if you're having problems with uh, what's called abduction, lifting the arms out to the side, pressing up overhead, getting pain kind of in the top of the shoulder area, this is an exercise that you want to explore because it may make all the difference for you. So let's go through this step by step. It's actually not that hard to do. There are only a couple things that you need to be aware of. I want you to start off in a nice tall spine position. You're going to tuck your chin a little bit and then imagine that your uh, the crown of your head is being pulled up to the ceiling. Now to actually uh, affect this nerve, what we're going to do is we're going to begin by letting the arm hang at our side and then we're going to slightly flex the elbow. It doesn't have to be 90, so just a slight flexion in the elbow. From here, we're going to internally rotate. So we're going to turn the arm in from the shoulder. We're then going to pull the shoulder blade down. Now as you pull the shoulder blade down, hopefully what you're starting to feel is tension building up or even a strange nerve tingling uh, sensation in a band distribution right around uh, the bottom of the deltoid. All right, this is called the cutaneous distribution for that nerve and whenever you do the exercise correctly, you feel the stretch or you feel the little nerve tingling right in there. So once again, nice tall spine, tuck the chin slightly, I'm gonna flex the elbow, turn in at the shoulder, pull the shoulder blade down, you can also take the arm slightly behind you and tilt your head away, all right? Uh, those are the different combinations of things that will usually allow you to feel the sensation here. Now, once you can feel the sensation in this band area and you can create that tension by getting into this basic setup, we now need to move because we're trying to floss the nerve, we need to move uh, in order to shift it through the tissues. So here's what I typically like to do. I'll get tall, flex the elbow, turn in, pull the shoulder blade down, tilt my head away. Once I can feel the stress, I unrotate my shoulder, re-rotate my shoulder, holding everything else the same. Your shoulder blade has to be down, head away, so unrotate, re-rotate. So I'm just going external and internal. I'll do that four or five times, then I'll get the tension on again, and then I will raise my shoulder blade, take the tension off, tension on, tension off, tension on. Do that about five times, and relax. That's it, it's a very, very simple process, but if you will test your range of motion and notice if it's stiff or painful, then do the exercise, then repeat the test of your range of motion, see if the stiffness and pain have improved. If so, this may be exactly the exercise that you need to be working on. If it seems to work well for you, try to do it three to five times a day, just as described. The biggest thing I want you to be aware of is don't overstretch. You need to keep the intensity level 3 out of 10. I'll say that again, 3 out of 10. If you overstretch or overstress this and try and go, oh, I really, 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 really need to feel it, and you get up into an 8, 9, 10 intensity level, it usually goes badly wrong. I want you to be careful. I want you to be safe. So again, keep the intensity 3 out of 10. If it's in working well for you, just make sure to repeat it throughout the day. Uh, and usually what we see with our clients is that within 5 to 10 days, many, many shoulder complaints just disappear. So uh, that's the axillary neuromechanic drill. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it works well for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. <laughs> I completely ran out of words. But <laughs> 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 wow, just total blank.